What's good, family? It's your girl KMO. I am the one. You know what I mean? What's good, man? Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe to the girl. You feel really? me? Subscribe to the god, the goddess, you know? So, man, the enemy has been trying to stop so much stuff in my life. I mean, so much stuff in my life. Like, so much stuff. And. I got my first home by myself, no help. I worked for it. I, I did what I needed to do. And you know, like when I first started living in my car, like it was fun. I'm not gonna lie, it was fun. It was, it was new. It was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was straight. And then I had started getting the moments where I'm like, hold up, I'm, I want to sleep in the bed. Like, I want to sleep comfortably, you know what I'm saying? But just every time I would find a better way. So I ended up buying a van, building in it, putting a bed in it and everything, putting plywood in it, carpet in it, little speaker foams as the wall, you know, and a cooler. I just made my own little house, right? And then I sold that way a little way well back and i lived in my car again and i loved it and i loved it and i loved it and you know when people would just be like oh why are you living in your car like some people look and be like now you know you don't gotta live in your car you know what i'm saying because they they know my ambition and they they see my drive you know and then some people are like oh she live in her car like you know and they they give that that judgment off you know and I never cared because it has built my character, you know? And now that I have a home that I'm about, about to see for the first time, it's, it's like, I don't know, like it's, it's great. I'm just so grateful, I'm, I'm very grateful because I know the long nights that I've went through and I know the, the nights where I had to watch out where I parked, I had to, you know, speak to them a couple of times cause they messy, you know, just, just a lot of stuff that I've went through, right? A lot of things, situations that I had to handle, <clears throat> you know, and the most I has been with me this whole journey and I have met people throughout this time, right? And I've just grown. I've just learned from whether it's, it went well and I still talk to these people or whether it went well and then it went wrong. And you know, I had to disconnect from these people, but either way I learned, Every, like, you know, I took the good and, and left the bad. Like I took what I needed and I left the extra stuff you know, the, the baggage and the problems and the drama and the arguing and, you know, whatever. Um, but I just knew, like, I've had multiple, you know, opportunities where I could stay with people, um, which I have stayed with people. I've rented out places, I've, you know, throughout time, but never for too long because I just, I just could never get uh comfortable with being in someone else's stuff like just knowing like i would just i would feel excuse me more like a like a leech or something if i was to live with somebody for like you know i i don't know like i just would i just would feel like no like this is no you know and that was my intuition and that was also you know the most high telling me like hey there's something better you know which there's <laughs> There was and there is, you know, but I just felt it in my soul. Like I just knew like, no, nah, it's time for me to go. Like, you know, no matter how it made people feel, you know, I which I let them know, you know, or we still talk or whatever, but I just knew like, now nah, I gotta keep pushing. And I just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing. And it was times where like, I just kept getting knocked down and I'm like, yo, like, 
do okay how do how do i want to handle this right so it was the way i was handling handling it i thought was right but it it wasn't right and i thought living in my car was okay and it is okay but now it's like okay i i want something you know better like for myself you know what i'm saying like that's cool and all you done did your little humble shit you know what i'm saying but now it's time to be on some big girl shit you know what i'm saying and don't get it twisted though i paid bills before i paid bills before and i've helped pay bills before so you know that's not new but just having my own space my own area like just my my own like you know just it's it's just like okay like i got more responsibility now you know and i just know that it's taken care of like this is definitely from the most high it's not from no man it's not from no no woman it's not from no friend like i literally put the the work in to have everything that you know i have and i'm just so grateful you know and when i see this it's so beautiful it is it's it's so beautiful like it I'm so grateful, you know, and it's new beginnings, like, it's new beginnings, it's levels, it's levels to this stuff, like, family, I want y'all to know, like, that's cool, like, just don't get comfortable in your situations, you know, like, I slick started getting comfortable in my car, and I think that's what really made me be like, okay, it's time for something new, because I don't like being comfortable, you know what I'm saying, I really don't like being comfortable, but see, there's another uncomfortable way of it too of like nah i gotta do it this way you if you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying right but like i don't know like don't like being comfortable because then you will be there for years type stuff or you will be missing out on something that you know is meant for you because you're too comfortable you know and thanking you right about something or feeling this way about something or what your parents taught you or anything like that you know so just push through stay strong you know no matter what situation you in like i think i said this in another video before like even if you got a car but you ain't got a crib or you got a crib but you ain't got no car or you ain't got neither you know or you know you got it all but there's something that you feel is lacking and i just want you to know that you're not lacking in that area it's just something you're not doing you see what i'm saying it's just something you're not doing to have what you want you know now don't get that twisted if it's a person like if that person don't not fuck with you like come on like we we're not chasing we attracting okay like let's not let's not be forceful you know like uh i noticed too like when I first left and stuff like that, I kept trying to make people my family. I kept trying to uh, find, uh, you know, that support in other people and, you know, like just trying to, to find that lack that I, that I felt I was lacking in other people, you know, because in my eyes, in my life, you know, I am successful. I am, you know, who I am and I don't need these things to 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 tell me who I am or show me who I am or I don't need people to validate the materialistic things that I have because that doesn't mean nothing now it does to a certain extent because this shit not free it's not so you know but at the end of the day like I know who I am you know and i want y'all to know who y'all are like don't be wanting to get rich so you can just shit on people because if you pour like if you know what being if you know what how being down feels like why would you want to make somebody else feel like that just because of your ego or your pride like you know and i that's just not who i want to be you know i don't want to be that and I'm not telling somebody who they should and who they shouldn't be, but I do want y'all to know that karma is real and that, you know, what you give, it, it, it will come back, you know, whether you see it, whether you don't, like, just even 
you know, ask her, like telling somebody to have a good day, like you don't even know the frequency you giving off to the universe. Like it, it's, it's just, it's deep, you know, it's so deep, it's so deep. And I've given so much, you know, even to people that has taken from me, has manipulate, would try to manipulate me, lied on me, whatever you want to say, you know, and they only missed out on a good friend. They only missed out on a good sister. They only missed out on a good, you know, homie or whatever. Like they missed out on, on me. Like I didn't miss out on anything, you know, like nothing, not even time because if I could go back, like I do, like I am so grateful for my journey that like, it's just beautiful. Like there's no sense in, and and complaining like i spoke to someone yesterday which i love her so very much but i told her i said hey you know tomorrow i got a lot to do i'm i'm you know and i got a lot i'm working on and she kept asking me what i'm working on what i'm working on she was like no because i need to know and i'm like need to know like why you need to you don't need to know you know what i'm saying it's not because it's a secret but it's because it's my business you see what i'm saying it's the, if you tell people what you got going on it's not even if they don't even have the intentions of ruining it for you you need to let it play out you see what i'm saying not because it's a secret or you got you talking about you got something planning behind their back but like no like it's not even about that you know but i was talking to her right and I told her, I said, hey, but I'm, a, I'm, as your friend, I'm about to speak to you. And what I say, it may not be what you want to hear, but it's the truth. Right? And she was like, yeah, okay, I want to hear what you got to say. And I was like, okay, you sure? You sure you want to hear what I got to say? And she was just like, yeah, I'm sure. And I was like, okay. And I told her, da, 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 you know, and also, hey, this is how you start and this is what you need to do and then what she said was but i don't know how i don't know how to and i said i just told you i just told you yeah but but i love them and you know like and she kept like going back to the past and telling stories and stuff like that and i'm like none of that matter like none of that shit matter like I'm not speaking exactly how I spoke to her because that's none of y'all business neither. But like that don't matter. Like don't let your feelings get in the way. Don't let your feelings be in control of you because that mind over, sometimes you gotta make a head over heart decision. Like that's so true. Like I've had to do that multiple times. And yes, it hurts. It hurts leaving people behind. Yes, it hurts, you know, um, let loving people from a distance. Yes, it hurts, you know, letting go of smoking or drinking or whatever you need to do or meet or whatever your situation is, right? Because we're all different. We all have different situations. Whatever your situation is and whatever the most high is calling you to let go of, you need to let go of it if you want something better, like that's what I was saying too. So I told her blah, 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 and blah, 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 and spoke on the situation and blah, blah, blah. And then I said, hey, I'm gonna let you know, people around me, that's why people don't like being around me because when you're around me, you're evolving, you're growing, you're trying to better yourself. Like, and if you're not, then I'm not gonna be around you. And it's just as simple as that. You know, I'm not, I don't wanna be around you because I need supportive people beside me. I don't care if you, have disagreements or you don't agree with me on every single thing that I say but no we we need to be on the same to a certain extent you know what I'm saying for us to be friends or we're just gonna keep going up and down up and down up and down same for relationship you know what I'm saying so what I told her was I said hey don't complain if you ain't gonna change don't complain about what they did to you, what they stole from you, how how long ago it was and how you still suffering from it. Like, don't complain about it if you're not going to change and you're still going to play victim in your life because nothing's going to change. Obviously, it's been years. Like, I blame people like I blame like 
I blamed people for a good minute. Like, a good minute. And I, like, I was just like, how could they? And how and why? And, uh, uh, and I was just so hurt and so beat up. And that is okay. That's okay to feel beat up, feel ganged up on or, you know, gang stalked or, like, whatever. Like, that's okay to feel that way. But it comes to a point where you realize your situation and you see reality and you're like, okay, what can I do now? You see what I'm saying? And even if you don't think that, there will be somebody, there will be someone that the most high sends to you that will tell you something and you hear it and it makes sense to you. But you don't want to listen to it because it's out of your comfort zone or because you're so used to being right that when somebody else is a little higher than you, now you're mad and you're slick hating on them. But you were just talking about how these people be hating on you. Like it's a trying like everything moves in in waves and and frequencies and vibrations and and you just have to catch it. Let me catch yourself when you about to go do the same thing that you was about to do. Catch yourself. You don't got to be perfect. No, but catch yourself and be like, hey, it's. Nah, I, I do want better. You know what I'm saying? Or, mm, nah, that's not good for me. Or, mm, man, nah, because they did treat me like this. So, you know, I miss them. But let me reevaluate my situation because I don't need the same things happening over and over and over again and people they love toxicity they love the cycles like they love it and I get it because I've been there before you know to a certain extent but eventually I'm just like yeah like I don't know cuz I don't like I don't like being I don't like feeling like how I make, you know, like, I don't like, I don't like when that shit come, like, you know, when them tables turn, you know, so I had to be like, hey, you know, I got to stop these player ways. I got to stop doing this stuff. I got to get money the right way. I got to be around people that really, you know, care for me, care about my health, care about my wealth, care about, you know, if I'm safe or not, if I ate, you know what I'm saying? Like, because that's what I do. I care about the people around me. Like you can like you can ask somebody like yo you can ask people like they can like I'm really about what I talk about like for real like I'm not no liar you know what I'm saying am I perfect no I'm not but I like man like and I try my best with people you know what I'm saying and when you try your best with people and they still they still don't see it, appreciate it, value it. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, stay there? No, but that's what you have been taught. But if somebody is sitting here telling you, hey, you, you're going to have to leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? And not because I can see if they make you feel good and it's healthy and you just got a hater and they like, you should leave them. You should leave them. There's a difference between you being with somebody whether it's for years, for weeks, or days, or whatever, and they treat you like shit, and you got somebody to come around and be finally, because a lot of people they're not gonna say nothing because they don't want to seem like a hater or they don't want to seem like they want your person or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But you got people that'll really come and tell you the truth, and people think they be speaking the truth, but they be lying. They be lying because they want what's best for them. They're not thinking about everybody. They're not thinking about the team. They're not thinking about the family. You know what I'm saying? They're not thinking about the people after them. They're not thinking about these things. And that's okay for them. Can't change people. You know, and I just... I want my family to know, like, if you watching my journey, like, this didn't just happen just because... It, like like no I had to suffer I had to learn I had to grow I had to change I had to change I had to change but like I am not the same person that I was you know what I'm saying yes I am but I'm not my mentality is different I have way more wisdom I'm way more mature <laughs> way more mature you know 
and it took time it took time it took it took time in which time is a is not real but in this plane yes took time man took patience you know and i'm grateful that i've made it you know because not too long ago like i was done like that was my like that was really like one of my lowest moments for real like i was so done and so hurt you know but when stuff is hard that's when you keep you keep you keep going you get even you know you just you just really push through that's when you really push through because you closer than you you closer than you 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 don't even know that you like you're very close you're very 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 close but you won't even you won't even know it because you will give up or you'll go back to the past or you'll you know go hit that shit or you'll go you know go back to your ex or because it things got tough you feel me and that's why everybody can't you feel me because it gets tough it really do it gets tough and you have to be able to be uh take that pressure and keep going you know even when it gets tough when it gets rough when it gets wet when it gets dirty you know muddy like when it gets weird there's a lot of weird shit going on too you know what i'm saying when it gets weird like you gotta still keep pushing like for real for real you know and i kept pushing and i'm still pushing you know i'm still pushing but i'm grateful and i'm thankful and um you know it's gonna like really y'all i don't be really wanting to like force videos and stuff but like i'm just doing what what i'm being called like what i'm being called to do and what i've been chosen to do and all that i can do in general just for my purpose you know what i'm saying what's the sense of being able to to speak life and not speak life into others you know like what's the point of being able to dance you know but not dancing what's the point of being able to have a beautiful voice and not and not use it you know um and just use it for you know the 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 purest reason you know which is the most high like you can say whatever you want you can feel however you feel about it like yeah you're gonna shine brighter with them you know you're you're gonna look brighter with them you're not gonna shine brighter but you're gonna look brighter with them but just make sure y'all choose correctly man because i there was a time where i had a choice where i could i could literally switch shit around like and all i had to do was lay that ass down but I know it wouldn't have just been one. It would have been all of them. Because I don't play no games. And most of my ancestors don't play no games. So it, it just would have been very, very, very toxic. And it wouldn't have been a, it wouldn't have been a peaceful life. You know, it, it, it wouldn't have. And I know y'all look at stuff and y'all y'all see this and the lights and the... And the cars and, and the stuff like that but you gotta see beyond that and that's okay to have these things because i want nice things you know like people have nice things they don't make they don't make them evil because they got money you know they don't make them evil but i'm saying like you gotta look beneath the money though is what i'm saying then you gotta look beneath the stuff then you gotta look beneath them and who really inside of that vessel you know so who are you inside of your vessel like who are you who are you you worried about everybody else what they doing how much they got in their pockets like who are you what's in your pockets nobody's coming to save you nobody's coming to save you nobody is coming to save you and if they do i guarantee you they got a, a agenda So, I love y'all. I think this video kind of went left and I just, you know, but we just gonna make it right.
you know, and what it was said needed to be said, you know, and yeah. So I got, I, I have my first home and I'm very proud of myself. And shout out, shout out to the, the car, man. Shout out to the car. My baby has been riding with me for years now, man. I remember when I first pulled you off the lot. Do you remember that, babe? Do you remember that? You looked at me. I looked at you. You winked at me. And I was like, come here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you've been with me ever since. That's that riz. You know what I'm saying? That's that love. You love me and I love you. You know, and we done had some times. But you, you, we, you know, I took care of you and you took care of me for sure. And I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Like we done, we, done, we really, we really have traveled pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have been, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like literally nothing. Started from nothing, you know on top of nothing and made it something you know i'm just i'm so grateful you know i i know <clears throat> i know what it's like and I, w I won't put nobody down you know i'm only here to lift you know um but let's not have a toxic situation where i'm the only one lifting like that's not that's not how it happens you know, it's not what's about to happen. I mean, it is how it happened, but it's not about to happen, you know? So new beginnings, don't be afraid of new beginnings. Let go of the past. Let go of what you need to let go of so that the new can come in. I know it's easier said than done, but you will be amazed. You will be amazed what is possible. You will be amazed what is possible when you when you let go of that hatred, when you let go of them jealousy tendencies, when you let go of, you know, unnecessary insecurities that was given to you by your parents, that was given to you by society, like, you will be amazed of the possibilities. I'm telling you right now. But I'm waiting for this key to get here. And, yeah. So, I love y'all so, so much. Thank you for the, you know, the people that have been rocking with me for a while now, like from the beginning, for a while now, from yesterday, like I'm so grateful. And make sure y'all subscribe if you're not, you feel me? Make sure y'all like, and make sure y'all comment, speak to me, like join the Discord or hit me up on Snap or whatever, like, you feel me? Like, let's talk about real shit. Like, let's let, we, I don't want to talk about the news. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about what girl doing. I don't want to talk about what dude did to you the other day when you know you've been supposed to leave him. Like, I don't want to talk about that stuff. Let's talk about some, some, <laughs> yeah, you know. But it's KMO if you didn't know. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>